intermission time, folks. So hurry, step right over to our refreshment center for the most extravagant array of refreshment goodies ever assembled under one roof. Variety of goodies to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, or your sweet tooth. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Visit our refreshment center now. the gun will eventually use it. A people with the power will ultimately use it. A people with no faith will ultimately lose it. The ultimate truth. How do we get past that? It wouldn't mean anything to you to even consider Digging deeper into what do we have available to us to do so. Spirituality is beating religion nowadays, hands down, but people are able to go as fast and as far and as vast because that's like straying too far away from your own nothing to feel capable of surviving going out on faith. Relationships, we really all desire them, but no one has enough faith that they can honestly be pulled off any consistent amount of time. Why? Because time has too much of a test for you to actually be able to achieve together with someone enough to feel that they are going to be capable of enough to stick it out too. Times are hard and they're getting harder. And we're gonna have to get better at being able to honestly live more in a communal mindset than our own comfort level has grown due to our own social culturalism. This is a whole new day. 2008 to 2012 is nothing like you could ever imagine because you're too busy already in a state of confusion. Who would have thought two, three years ago that we would be facing some very unique realities? I mean, we used to be able to joke kind of about it. We used to be able to at least have a couple of parodies and movies and film. But to actually be somewhere where we have to evolve past color, past race, past history, past folklore, and really honestly learn how to become citizens of the world, and not members of your social committee, and court, we all desire so much more, but... We got it so much more better than a lot of other people that can't be watching just like you are in the comforts of wherever you are. That comes with a cost. How much are you willing to give to just exist next to change? You roll with it, it rolls over you, or you lay down and let someone stand in your place. Nothing that you do right now that you think is okay is that okay. If it was, you really honestly wouldn't have this kind of spare time to even be looking at whatever the hell it is I'm talking about. Welcome to the New World Order. Not a bad thing. It's just change.
I don't know. That's insane. Angels in the sky, moving, playing, flying. Look at that. Look how they move. This is what people saw many, many years ago. Look how they move, fly, play. What it seems to be a group of uh, luminous figures or luminous bodies with human shape interacting. According to Pedro Avila, they were like dancing together, like playing together. And uh, he was completely surprised. Something never seen before. The so, video lasts for half an hour. Yes, a very long video. And then, the 29th of January, 2006, in Guadalajara, Miguel Aguila, the same man who got this incredible fleet in 2004, got this video. The quality is not the same, but I believe it's the same phenomenon. And then, I think we're going to still have, we're going to have more and more of these kind of videos very soon because I learn I have learned that ten years ago we had some fleets and now it's incredible and now this is the beginning of, for this kind of phenomenon that is unexplainable to me so now we are wondering are we confronting a new phenomena a new sign what could this meaning what could this uh, group of strange luminous figures with humanoid shape mean could this be a new sign so, uh, we have several interpretations, you know, could this be some kind of beams of light? Wilder! Mira! Wow! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Wow! Oh! Nick Toe. 